Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back with some more Hearthstone. If you just watched the previous recording, well, it's exactly five seconds later for me. Um, I'll probably upload these a day apart. I'm going to try and keep recordings of each game to at maximum one a day. Excuse me as I wet my whistle. That's a colloquialism for drinking a drink and nothing else. So like I said in the last episode, if you didn't see it, we got one quest. Uh, we finished a arena very fast by losing. So what we're going to play now is Rogue. And then we're going to alternate between Hunter and Mage. If I lose as a rogue in this game, I'm going to just go straight to, uh, back to Druid. In the last game, we saw a player play the rogue very well. It was very impressive. It beat me soundly and fairly. You are now going to see someone play the rogue not very well. My cards have not been set up anywhere as good as that. With honor. Watch your back in fact if to be honest my setup for the rogue is just a mage setup it is the same strategy as my mage it's get more of these creatures that do spell damage plus one uh, there's a lot of basic cards that are in every single custom deck I have like this guy this guy these guys if I can find space for them these guys can be game changers first, and I'm going to use him second turn for sure. But first turn, just get some quick damage out there, and being aggressive. As the cheerleaders sometimes say. So, Mana Wraith costs all minions, costs one more. Every creature that you summon is a minion. There's no exception to that. So, there are cards that say all one things shot. with battle cry one. cost one more. Mana Wraith is stronger than that card. I think it was part of the next Ramus deck that I got it. I could equip the dagger and attack him, but nope. Job done. So now you see red numbers on all the mana crystals, and that's because each number has gone up by one. It's true for me, it's also true for them. Sadly, there is no real card that only costs the opponent more, man. <laughs> um, maybe they'll eventually come out with one, but I would bet it would cost at least 8 mana to play. If it's going to give such a big advantage to one side. Let but me think. You can see he's slowed, slowed down here. He knew probably what he was going to do next turn and now he can't do it because he has to have had a one mana creature in his hand because that one mana creature is now a two mana creature and he only has two mm. more than likely he's going to just attack my face and end the turn he might actually attack the mana wraith because it's such an irritating uh, card Move quickly. So does this one have plus three attack for one turn or plus three attack? Just plus three attack for the rest of the flight. <coughs> Already feeling it. Should have taken a longer break than five seconds between the recordings. Sorry about the coughing. Sorry about the, um, in general, uh, quality of the mics. I, I've listened and I, I've listened to almost every Get down! recording once, and I hear a lot of pops and like brass into it. I'm on a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller with a Microsoft Xbox 360 headset plugged in. Not because I'm a Microsoft fan, 
spoil anything, just because that's what I had at my hand, uh, as available to me. Uh, certainly, if I continue doing this for a long time and feel like it would be a smart move to invest into it, I would get one of those like snow globe microphones with a nice fancy Let pop filter think. and the articulated uh, stand Not that will hold it right in front of my voice. <laughs> Certainly that's where you'd want to go. I'd want to get some kind of sound or a digital DSP to modulate my voice a little bit differently so it sounds a little bit better to most people. Uh, it sounds awful to me. I'm very surprised nobody has commented. Go just that you sound like a, a damn fool that you have, you're horrible but I guess people are nicer on the internet than even I thought uh, somebody will prove that wrong I'm sure but yeah all of that would happen as soon as I feel like investing in it would be a good idea and when would that happen when lots and lots of people are watching when I decide that Turning on monetization would be a good idea. Um, general things like that. Here we go. So, why do I attack the creature that does two damage, knowing that it's going to do two damage to me? Well, basically, the logic is, if I just attack the face and don't take any damage. He's still going to be a lot around to attack me twice, and so I'm actually going to lose more life in the long run than just taking the two damage now, sacrificing that two damage, and uh, attacking him straight on. So, we got a taunt out here. We got this guy. This guy is does two damage when on a death rattle, so kind of sucks. Let's see. We want to get rid of the highest attack at the moment. So I'm going to take Here we go. two more damage attacking Here this guy. We go. Well, let's see, five. I could take two damage attacking this guy. And. Yes, I will. Job done. So now he has to use all of his um, creatures up to get past my taunt. I don't know if this is good play gameplay. It most certainly isn't when you're 27 to 10. You can usually make the assumption you have done something wrong at this point. So two more to my face, there, two more to this. Maggot. So he dies and does two damage. He dies. He attacks and does two damage. I really need a taunt. <laughs> I really need a taunt guy right now. And look what this is the best I can do. And this is not gonna save me. It's well played, game over. End it and let them finish me off. I'm being generous today, I'm saying well played to, to people who have beat me. Like I said, it's, once you get in the higher ranks, people don't well play you when they're about to lose, they well play you when they're about to beat you. And it's, it's a little insulting. I mean, if you were going to play like chess with some chess master, Bobby Fischer or somebody, and then on the fifth move they are about to checkmate you and they say well played if you have any knowledge of chess you're gonna go i didn't play that well i mean you beat me on the fifth move watch your back not that i'm any expert on chess chess is one of those games that's too slow too complicated too many too much of just thinking every pattern and trying to be five pe steps ahead not my type of game i don't want to think done. ahead i want to have instinctual I play you. i want things to go in the flow 
Why do you go? The pleasure is mine. There was a little an intro animation in this game that I kind of enjoyed in the tutorial. There, they would do good to have more intro videos and tutorial videos. Probably tutorials better. If there was just like 20 tutorials that you could go back and play at any time, uh, it would probably be helpful. It's like understanding specific cards. That it wouldn't be terrible if they had a new tutorial for like every few cards. That like every spell plus one thing. You could have a tutorial where you give them specific spell plus ones and say, play this, play this, play this. You'll win in one turn if you play all these things. That was a th that was one of the things available um, in Yu-Gi-Oh! was you could they would have in some of the Yu-Gi-Oh games there's been a lot of them they would basically it was an annual franchise that here we go they come out with a new Game Boy game or uh, the Xbox game now it's it's it hasn't evolved very well it does not look anywhere as good the new Yu-Gi-Oh games uh, the Magic the Gathering has evolved for like Android we and must stuff, so it looks the good, well. but the, it's on this like pay pattern where you have to pay a lot of money and it's, it's really a huge waste. It takes up close to two gigabytes of space on your device too, on an Android device, which is just not acceptable at all. Nobody can should be doing that. Oh man, if I had just one more, oh, I wouldn't have it. So we play this card to do one damage to everybody, just out of spite. We play this to give this back. We play Here this we go. to kill this guy. And that's the best we could do. Still didn't get anybody on the field. If I can get Fugin... We must a cleanse the draw. sun well. Uh, next turn, we might be on the Thaddeus run. But that's only if I survive. <laughs> so. Not a lot of choices here. Throw him out. Hopefully they will get... Decide this is a good idea. See, they're saying sorry. Yeah, they probably know they've already won. Gonna play, play it through. Let them do all, what they gotta do. At least it's a quick defeat. Oh, so what I was saying was, in the Yu-Gi-Oh games, there was all kinds of like puzzle challenges. Well, you would be given a hand that was carefully crafted, and they'd say, win in one turn. If you ended your turn, you lost, always. What you had to do is figure out what was the right combination of cards. Uh, oftentimes in Yu-Gi-Oh, it was about the order of cards, and Valia, you're chaining things together, because it had this weird you chain system that what? Hearthstone no. doesn't really have. Although it does have some cards that says, if used in a combo, which just means if it, I think, it just means if you, um, if you use it as a second card and not the first card you play, I haven't seen it mean anything else, although I haven't played with any combo cards really, but One shot. puzzle, puzzles like that where it's like, Play all these plus one spell things first, and then play this one spell card that does 11 damage when all the spell cards are in, but only does 7 damage when if it was played first, and then give the guy exactly 11 damage. I Stuff like you. that is really where you can... Card game more accessible, give it more modes, tutorialize. Uh, trading card games 
are all about getting on board and learning what the cards do and how they interact with each other. Uh, you cannot be successful playing a collectible card game if you don't want to learn what the cards do and how they work together. That's the fun of it. If, if that part doesn't sound fun, then you probably don't want to play collectible card games. Alright, so next turn I'm going to have three, but no creatures really to bother me, so I'm going to... Now I'm going to do this, bring this guy up, because I want to get Here one use out of it. Go. And I want to get this use out of this. Job's done. Uh, does plus two. You notice here, the plus one spell damage, not interacting with the deadly poison plus two attack. In fact, I'm not sure if this interacts with anything. You notice when I highlight it, you get these little glowing stars, and it's changing this. So maybe it would change this card. It seems to indicate like it thinks it will. We'll just have to see. What I'd really like for him to do in this third turn is but do some of three. One ones. Didn't do that. I still don't have reason to use this. So I'm just gonna Here play some. Go. Keep on going. He's having trouble getting characters on the field. He's using his spell thing to try and kill my creatures. Having trouble. Yes. Alright, so playing a freezing character on mage, she may be playing the strategy that you've seen me be successful at before. Play this. So now it's three damage. Play this. With charge. Just gonna Here go straight go. for the face. Hopefully she'll ignore my creatures and just go for the face. Job's done. Now this guy is important, I don't want to lose him, he's possibly increasing the damage here, definitely increasing the damage here. We'll play this next turn, even if it's just one creature, because it will do so many options. 3 or 4 damage to him, and 3 or 4 damage to him. Oh, it's my turn still? I'll do that a lot. And so you need to be forgiving of other players for doing that because you will do that a lot too. So you'll just forget that you have an end of the game. That's exactly what I did want. Exactly what I did not want. Alright. I'd really like to get this guy out, but nothing is going to keep him from getting killed. So we're just going to play this to three damage to all creatures and let's see I have three more things I could do one more damage to enemy minions and draw a card or I can summon this I don't want to just do one damage and draw a card here so we go, go ahead and attack the face Job done. I'm at 29 they're at 17 some progress is being made here, but as you've seen many times now, uh, get behind me. Great strategies will get you 15 plus damage in one turn. I, I'm gonna bring him out. Since this is the zero mana, I can do it right here. Job done. And get another card. I'm frozen, so I cannot use my thing. I, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's what it says when you try and do something you can't do. I could still do the spell if I, I had two things. I don't have enough mana. That's what it says when you don't have enough mana. It does explain, to a small extent, what you're doing wrong when you try to do it. Deal six damage on this guy. Get in there, fight, maggot! Probably not worth it. Probably not the right way to do it. This guy is giving plus two to this guy, and they did it twice. But it was just till the end of the turn. So 
though. Let's see. Now is the time to do Phantom Knives, if ever there was a time. One damage to everybody kills. Those two guys puts these two guys in the thing, draws another card. Gonna throw the taunt out. Now, neither one of those can attack without dying. The other one will. He'll probably attack me with this guy and get kill him and then do a five. Down to, I think, 14. So I'm still behind the curve. Lots of late, uh, higher quality players, better players, with better decks, will not even start doing damage to the face until they are 100% certain that they are ready to. So they can go several turns. I've seen late players go several turns and just be... And just not attacking because that's just not gonna help them, and they know it's not. All right, so we must cleanse the sunwell. What we want to do is scare this guy off. Hopefully, he will try and kill this guy and not hit my face. I'm at six. This could easily be game over well if he played. sees that. He says well played. He sees it. It's over. Maybe if I had ended the turn faster, they wouldn't have thought things as through done that. But probably not. You can try to play some metagame there and just end turns fast so they don't they feel a little more pressure to end their turn fast and not think every situation through. It's a possibility. I, I want this rogue victory, so if this entire recording is just me doing Rogue, that'll be fine. Not gonna do a third recording in a row. Uh, my throat would not be able to handle that. That's what she said. <sighs> I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I'm trying to keep Hearthstone to be more child-friendly, but... That's kind of on my scale of child friendliness and no one else's. So, I may throw an immature joke in at any point and there's really no stopping me. If there's a way to stop me, it, it has to be you have to uh, ba bound and gag me or something. Because I just don't have a filter half the time. Which is why people like me and why a lot of people don't. We're getting a bit of stall here and so either he's not playing or he's lost connection or I've Ooh. lost connection. Um, if he loses connection a lot of times that'll be a victory for me but they update this game all the time and with the newer updates it's a lot less of just winning because they lose connection. Um, I kind of liked it better when it was winning more because of lost connections. Because then I could actually win more often. Job's done. But that's not a great gameplay for most people. If he's going to be slow and lose connection though, then I'll get that victory. We'll be done. Getting the quest down to two open slots gives me a couple of days to just say I can focus on other games Here and we come go. back when it's full. Uh, I have gone weeks between playing Hearthstone before. I probably won't do that while I'm, as long as I'm recording, but it has happened. And so I've come back and it's the same three to me. quest as it was a week ago because I didn't spend the time to earn to finish the quest. So what I'm going to do is Here we go. attack. Here we go. This guy is, every time he takes damage, he's all a card. Uh, kind of weird. Kind of weird. So... 
Gonna use one deadly poison on this guy. Next turn, gonna use another deadly poison to get him up to five. That'll be two uses at five. Maybe I'll get lucky and be able to destroy it and do five damage to all creatures. Tazdingo! <laughs> yes! Yeah, I don't see a lot of cards that are synergizing with the spell damage ones. So, I may have mistakenly thought that having these guys would have helped Deadly Poison, but it's not. That's more than likely what was going on in my head. Here we go. So, it's probably time to rebuild the But I'd have to think about it. And frankly, I just haven't unlocked enough cards. I don't have enough different cards from the last time I looked at building the decks and tweaking them that there would be much change. I don't have a lot of cards. Also, I don't have a terribly great strategy. I saw that great rogue strategy that defeated me, but... I'd have to think about that. I'd have to give give it an hour or two, maybe a day or two, just thinking about how can I emulate that great strategy with the cards I have. Alright, so I'm ready. here we go. So I have a strong weapon here for five. They'll do three with four uses. So that would have been seven times four uses if I had drawn this a little bit earlier and decided to use the two deadly poisons on that. Uh, there are only two deadly poisons in the deck because there can only be two of anything. So, you're is not going to get any more. That is one thing about Hearthstone that is a little unique because Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic for certain, and I think Pokemon, all have a graveyard pile. That's everyone, so every time one of these creatures dies, it would go in the graveyard pile. And there would be tons of cards that say, resurrect this guy, anybody from the graveyard pile. There is no graveyard in Hearthstone at all. When guys get destroyed, they're gone. I think they intentionally did that, they just didn't want to hmm. mop as exact copycats, uh, which which is fair because, frankly, the uh, best deals there is some unfair copyright stuff that goes around with uh, collectible card games. Yes. No. Stop, done. Let's see, it's called I think TRSI owns Mad the Gathering, and they have. A copyright, or at least they used to, on the the concept of a collectible card game in general in the U.S. So when Pokemon came out, Nintendo had to license it and basically have it made by TRSI. And Yu-Gi-Oh, I think, licenses it out to maybe Yu-Gi-Oh is a little bit different enough. So when Hearthstone came out in its digital only fashion, it's probably fine digitally only, but if it ever wanted to become a, an actual card game, which they might want to do, I think in the back of their heads they're thinking that, uh, they want to make it be different. Also you just want it, want it to be different for the simple fact that you don't, don't want to be a copycat, you don't want to just do the exact same game that that other people see. Um, I have things I don't like about Magic a lot. There's things I don't like about Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. Uh, so Hearthstone is a fresh new take. Their online game, like I said before, mm. was is a hundred times more polished. Looks way better. They still need to work on it for a big Your screen. Magic though. shall not see. Uh, the whole concept of playing this on a TV from about 10 feet away where I'm at does not work great. Often you'll hear me say, what is that number? I think that's a 3. That's because I'm 10 feet away on like a 27 inch TV. So <laughs> I just can't read it from that distance. My eyes aren't as that bad, so it's not just 
a situation of I can't see it because I'm going blind. It's a situation of I can't see it because I'm too far away from the screen. <laughs> Right. So this guy's not doing me any good, and this guy's not doing me any good. Wow. He managed to silence no. both of my creatures. No. Well, when they don't do you any good, they're just taking up space, get rid of them. So I have enough mana next turn where I can just play both of these sun clerics and get this up to a 5-7 taunt and he won't be able to attack more than likely this turn anyways. I so we can beef up our defenses and, and offenses. Do you like to play with fire? <laughs> Every time he casts a spell, deal one damage to all minions. Are they gonna cast another spell, or are they just gonna end it there? Is someone injured? No, they're gonna heal him up. It's not gonna help much because oh, this one doesn't actually heal. Did I say it heals? It draws a card every time someone's healed. So he can use his ability to heal somebody. They have two of these guys and draw two cards. We just need to get these guys gone, so <laughs> gonna attack it like that. Put this guy out. Now I do two damage to get rid of this one and draw a card. Still have the five. Okay. One use one of these. If I can maintain go. the movement here, Job done. I will win. Let me change your mind. Maybe I'll just if the card takes control of the enemy that has two or less attacks. Uh, there are cards that just take control of enemies, period. So no, up to ten. We I'm must gonna give hit the this guy a plus one plus one, so at the very least this guy I can't this girl can't take control of this one again. Uh go ahead and throw this one out and attack. My steel. We're gonna just do some face racing here. See if we can do more damage to them before they can do damage to me. This might work, it might not. I got the best deals anywhere. They're gonna more than likely try and control the situation, and that's a good way to control the situation. I'm out of 10, they're out of 10. Playing the Mana Wraith is going to be slightly annoying, but not terribly. At this point. It's an early game thing. You want to play this your first and second turn if you can. We must it is going to cost every, well. make everything cost a little bit more. But Here it's not enough. Go. That, Here we go. Doesn't mess. Okay, so I'm not going to win face racing I can tell now I can do three damage so let's go ahead and knock him out of the situation he was giving them plus one spell damage anyways so maybe that'll turn the tide maybe it won't more than likely won't oh I was saying Maybe if I just don't have anything to really talk about, I, dream I will do really fast uh, one game recording. But I don't think that's the way it works. It doesn't feel like that's the way it works. You play a couple, I play a couple games, and that's just how it works for me. 
I get more relaxed and I get more chatty. So the beginning of most episodes will be just a little bit quieter, a little bit more about the game. And then as I get more chatty, as I start thinking about more stuff, I, I get into more conversations. So if I cut everything off at, at the first game and then take a break, come back a day later, I probably won't ever, wouldn't ever talk about anything. This Yursa is an interesting thing. It makes dream cards. What dream cards are is, is like a pool of, what would be the number? Four, five cards that are labeled internally as dream cards. But here we go. They just at the end of the turn you get one of those. And they're not they're called dream cards, but I wouldn't say that immediately means that they're super awesome super useful cards. Question, have I already killed Fugan? If I've already killed Fugan and it attacks and kills him. No. Will I get Thaddeus? No, I have not done Fugan. So, what I would want is Fugan to be the next draw, but I need something stronger than just Fugan. Dragons are pretty good. This is not stronger than Fugan. This is not anything worth even mentioning. Here we go. This is game over. So now I have to make the tough decision. Do I want to play another game? I think I do. I did not look at the clock. I've got to train myself to look at the clock at the beginning of every recording and see how long it's been going. I have no idea how many games this is going to be. They've been fast games. Let's just keep jumping in. I want that rogue win. It's just one measly rogue win. And like I said in the tutorial, this game burns me out and sometimes it can be a slog to win. Valera you can have great runs Roar. like and uh, like the arena run and Sports four wins in a row. But then you can have terrible, terrible things. And, uh, I'm probably losing even because I don't have a good rogue deck. I probably have a deck set up that is just not worthy of winning, even at level 22. Job's done. So, kind of need to play fast, just for recording purposes. Need to just see if I can get a win. Um, Get it fast. Gonna go ahead, get rid of this guy. He's gonna do four damage to me. That's probably the minimum I could have gotten out away with with that character, unless I had a silence or uh, to silence him and destroy him. And I don't know of any card that silences the creature and destroys it. I don't haven't seen a card that does that in Hearthstone. But I'm gonna try and play really fast, not forget to end the turn, wrap this up, give my voice a break a little bit. I, it is just amazing to me that my voice wears out in what is effectively just about an hour and a half worth of talking. But it does. It's probably just because of underuse. Uh, pretty quiet. Here we Haven't had go. a lot of opportunity to talk to people that much in the past few years. Um, had, a pos had a position in a job that was eight hours straight of talking, so maybe that wore the muscles down a little bit for years and years of doing that. Um, I don't know, but that's how the situation is now. I wonder. Maybe I'll, hopefully I'll get better. Hopefully I can do it. I heard somebody say that they were recording like six or seven game recordings each day. 
and not like five or ten minute recordings like hours of recordings going six seven eight hours of talking does not seem feasible for me six seven hours of playing video games kind of feasible my fingers would probably start hurting but talking no way I mean we, if we're gonna do six seven eight hours a day of recording I'm gonna have to put up things like silent runs I'm just gonna um, put in the title this is episode something silent run and then YouTube does have an interesting option that Here we go. I was not aware of where you can just select some of their pre-made music and See, that did two damage, so this guy did increase the damage by one. Even though none of the cards actually said that because of the way they synergized together, this was a one damage item that, because of that, because of this plus one spell damage, did two damage to all these guys. So I'm in great position. This isn't a great total. It's not one of the shaman totems. It's a card itself. At the end of the turn, draw a new card. Um, you don't want to draw new cards. You want your cards to be more valuable than that. You don't want to run out of cards and still not be able to beat me because I have some pretty decent defense. I mean, I've done that to people. I've killed off their creatures over and over and over to the point where they have no more creatures and nothing in their hand and nothing in the deck. I've talked about that. But you have to have some offense. To... Drawing a card is the ultimate in cowardly defense. Uh, I guess cowardly is a lot of history, but it is just defense. It's just none of my cards that I've already gotten weren't good, so let's just hope the next one's better. You want a better deck? I want a better deck than what I've got, to be sure. So this one does plus one health to everybody. This one's been given some extra health. They're just trying to keep him alive. Alright, let's see. I have five. I can bring out the taunt. They won't be able to attack anyways. So let's go ahead and put I the auctioneer the in. Auctioneer was this gold back card was one of the very first um, cards Job I done. got in a pack that was uh, remarkable. The, maybe they were being nice, maybe the first pack you all open in Hearthstone always has a good gold card, but this is a pretty pretty good card. I mean, it's, it's a medio, medium, medium on the scale of good cards to, to get. In a pack, they have some some wild cards. There's about three of them I've seen that you see on very rare occasions or just rare occasions. Um, there's one called Leroy Jenkins that's a reference to some internet video of a football player, mm. and so he has like a charge where They'll he immediately attacks the face, and he puts two little whelps on your side. And he has like two health, so they're one one whelps, and they can, um, and so they those two whelps that he, it gives you can kill him, but because he attacks the face, often people will play Leroy Jenkins right at the point where it would do exactly as much damage as needed to Does kill you. <laughs> Four plus one. Vaporization commencing. Here we go. To the face. Here we go. Job done. Often they'll play Leroy Jenkins when it's just about to defeat you, or what they'll do is they'll play Leroy Jenkins, do damage to get you, takes away half of your life. I think it does six, so. If you are at 12, they'll play it to get you down to 6. Then they'll play like a panda to send it back to the hand. And then they'll play it again to defeat you. 
<laughs> yep. Gotta wrap up this recording. Already at the two cough meter. I don't smoke or anything. I've never smoked in my life. So, if I turn out to have, like, throat or lung cancer or something like that, I'm gonna be really upset. Feel the power. Because I have not done anything to really deserve that. I doubt that's the case. So he's got Wind Fury, which just kind of means he has to attack twice and kill himself. <laughs> I don't know if he really thought that out all the way. Deal two damage, draw a card. You know what? This guy looks like he has two health. I... <sighs> Look what I need to do. Deal two damage. I need to get all these mage guys up. So we want to throw this guy up. We want to attack. Let's see. Let's go ahead and attack with this one to get rid of this one. This one to get rid of this one. Vaporization commencing! Here we Another go. face attack. Another one of these. And for a last trick, the deadly done. poison. So, I'll have eight next turn. I can play both these guys. That's what I want to do. I mean, I'm getting the ultimate combo here. I mean, this guy and then just a bunch of these spell plus ones. As far as mage, a mage deck, but that's basically what I'm playing. I'm playing a mage deck as a rogue. It's One not shot. working out as good as the One shot. One. Let's see. I've got a huge gun. So, I can throw this guy out, and so that does 3 damage to everybody, and I think that's what I need to do. Throw this guy out, then do this, and throw these guys, this guy out. Go ahead and get rid of this guy finally, and do a face. Not exactly how I wanted to play out, but close enough. I wanted to do some major damage. I wanted my creature, some of my creatures, to survive longer. Does he have? Anything that can save him. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's getting a little desperate now. Spell damage probably not gonna help him much. He's not his deck does not look like it's an overlift deck. Looks like it was a healer deck, basically. Might be a little difficult to get rid of him. Well, I want to leave two mana. So I have four. I have no more twos. So I'm going to attack the face. Use this. And then flip out the mana. Slow him down a little bit. I could take this guy out with this guy and this guy and I guess that's the way I have to make so I don't really want to do that but it's Whoa, the no, smash. vaporization commencing job's done S 
just about controlling the situation, not getting too excited and attacking the face and then missing something. That's how you're going to lose a lot, is if you just miss their strategy because you're so excited that you can hit, hit the face, the next turn they play their strategy and, and win. What to do? Same situation, I'm gonna have to sacrifice two of my characters to just get rid of him. Notice here that there is no red mana crystal on this. This is a spell, not a creature. It's only minions that cost one more. There are cards that will make spells cost one more or cost one less. But nothing that has come out so far that makes everything cost one more or one less. That'd be a pretty overpowered card. So we're gonna Warmaster. attack here. Have I played in this game Stalag already? I don't believe I have. Commencing. Stupidly, if I had just played this, we must cleanse the Sunwell. On again here, I wouldn't have had to waste that card. That was me not paying attention. Here we go. I'm not gonna bother to kill these zero two zero twos here. Just no point. Oh, Throw out another I'm spell guy. Attack the face. Job's done. It's gonna take him, cost him a little bit more to get rid of the mana. But we're both at ten now, so while I am costing him one more, he's got it to spend. As do I. So. Hexafugian transforming them and killing them They'll might never break know what the pattern. So, if I did run into the Stalag and he got killed, I don't know if Thaddeus would show up or not since he was transformed. Maybe, maybe not. I would guess maybe not. No, Just gonna I face can't raise hello. Here. Push Three forward. More thing. Had enough to win. Did win. That is great. Because I've did enough for one day. I'm up to level 21. Every level you get a new little title and picture. So now I am a South Sea deckhand. Pictures are just reused from character cards. Got the 40 gold. Got 10 more gold for winning three games. I'm up to 855. So I'm pretty close to if I wanted to do another arena. Maybe I'll do one arena a week. Just like say Monday or some some day a week is just arena day. Uh, not going to make any progress on the hunter and mage um but i've got the two empty spots now so that means if i don't feel like playing hearthstone for a couple of days i can let those fill up and come back in two days and it will be full up we'll have more quests to play and that's usually how i like to play so anyways thanks for watching this episode uh, like, share, and subscribe, e even though it's unlisted still. At this point, I'd say, if you want to share, share. Like and subscribe helps. Uh, likes will specifically help me personally know how many people actually like this. If I got tons of thumbs downs, uh, I'd have to question what I'm doing a lot more. If I get a lot of thumbs ups, uh, and likes and stuff like that then I feel like I'm going in the right direction and everybody involved is having fun I'm having fun so far this has been the most video games I've been playing in quite a while 
I've, it's a renewed my motivation to play. I hope it renews your motivation to play or helps you if you haven't had time or skill to play. Uh, still enjoy a game, even though you're not actually the one with the control on your hands. Anyways, thanks. Uh, thanks for listening and have a good day.